what we're seeing here at the moment is for two years in a row now, another mass bleaching event on the Great Barrier Reef. This coral and the ones behind me are all under stress. Normally the staghorn coral in front of me here would be brown in colour. And that brown coloration is caused by microscopic plant cells that live in the tissue of the coral. And in a beautiful relationship called symbiosis, these plant cells produce food for the coral from the sun's energy. But when the water gets too warm, this relationship goes out of balance and the corals release the plant cells into the water and become bleached. So what we see here is still living coral, but we have now seen the white skeleton that grows underneath. Now if this water starts to cool down and that stress is removed, the corals can get the plant cells out of the water column as part of the plankton and recolonize, get their color back and recover. At the moment we have no idea how severe or how widespread this current coral bleaching event is going to be. The causes for coral bleaching is simply climate change. Anything you can do at home, whether you're on the other side of the planet, can help protect an icon, a living icon like this, the Great Barrier Reef. We now have technologies in place with solar power, alternative energies, and most importantly, batteries that can help us get away from this reliance upon fossil fuels. All we need is the will to make the change. The Great Barrier Reef will always exist in one shape or form or another. But the level of diversity of the corals and the fish and the other animals that live here will be determined by the decisions we make now. Before it is too late.